Hi, hello, welcome back, or welcome to. Today, we're going to be checking out the newest Fears to Fathom, Woodbury Getaway. Uh, I have played through every Fears to Fathom prior, uh, and I think they're fantastic. Uh, real quick before this video starts, I do want to say that I did stream this on Twitch. Uh, I will leave my link down in the description if you guys are interested in following me on there. So if things look a little different, if uh, you hear me talking to uh, someone in, in the stream, you are not crazy, I promise. But without further ado, welcome to Fears to Fathom, Woodbury Getaway. Woodbury Getaway, December 8th. Needed coffee to get done with the day. Some coffee. Oh shit, we are in a sky rise. Hell nah. I threw it on the ground. need to prepare a cup of coffee oh my god this is great it's Keurig it needed water step by step and then we make coffee need to put on a lid I mean, you though, you really need to put on a lid. Hell yeah. Who else is here? Who's tip tapping? Yeah, Awa, it did not. I'm uh I'm gonna reinstall it on my SSD and hopefully next stream will be good. What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. I was just checking if you needed anything. Can't these clients ever make up their mind? Still working on that report. Yeah, I'm trying to get this done. Don't burn yourself out. Whatever. Well, wow. I was just trying to be nice. Needed to use the restroom. You drank too much coffee. It just went right through us. I feel it. Some mornings I'd be like that too. I was done with it. Okay, so put it in the garbage. Don't throw it. Never mind. Fuck it. Litter. And, oh. My bad. We're going piss. Pissing simulator. Hey, yo. I don't think you're supposed to be in here. <laughs> Fuck off. Whoa, man. Sorry, didn't know anyone was in there. You didn't hear me frying chicken in there? Fuck off, you did. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry, should have knocked before I came in. But there isn't usually anyone in here this late. Yes, you should have knocked. Again, I'm sorry, I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Husta slipped my mind. Oh, must have slipped my mind. What has you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on <laughs> On the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. That's really rude. I know nothing about that. Well, I need to get back to it. I don't want to be here all night. Picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. That one fucking got on my ass. I hate that. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. 
doesn't know fucking personal space though, I will say. Wash my hands again. Mushroom coffee. You have to let me know how it is. I've been curious to try it. Yo, fuck this creepy ass janitor though, for real. Got enough on my plate right now. Well, too bad you're gonna have more. Just for that. I made my point. Never mind. I got one more. And the coffee cup banded. My phone is ringing. Hello. Hey, Hello. Orp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call your cell for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is My battery oh, dies the worst times. I'm starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Just Damn, more overtime. Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. To cheer me up. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Let's no worries, to do Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey. hey. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora Mike and there. Sydney time. You just said Mike and Sydney time. Why the fuck would I ever want to go with you? I can't say no. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. This place is a prison. Oh, uh, wait. One more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Why, you cheap ass? Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. <laughs> you just hang up on his ass. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. You better quit yapping. We are playing a chip. Alright, talk to you later, Harp. Talk to you later, Harp. No, you won't. I won't pick it up. Company amount approved stage tech score. Remark. Type invader. Oh. oh shit, you guys are fucked. You're fucked. Dog else. Me too. Bottom 
this is a fantastic game of the year. Book. Oh, I didn't type rent. Rentacabin.com. Find your place to stay. Woodbury. The three fifty nine book cap. Two forty nine, one ninety nine, ninety nine, two fifty. Oh wow, it's baiting us. Private cabin in Woodbury. Three guests, two beds, two baths. Your booking has been confirmed. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. I were you rushed? When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to per prove my worth. Didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sidney Harper, and this story it takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. Hey, what's up, Mike? Why, you kind of look like a uh, certified lover boy. I don't think this is Mike. Afternoon, quite chilly day today, huh? I've seen you around, but haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. It's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. How do you know? I've just seen you a few times getting off the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. Something ain't adding up here. What do you do for work? E. I'm a software engineer, what about you? I work at a consulting firm downtown. Oh, I see. Anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. You too. Yeah, that's a little, uh, sus. Pulling into the parking garage now. You downstairs yet? Hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking my property in Woodbury from December 10th to 12th. I'm Rick, your host. You want to fucking wait? I'm reading. Never rush a lady, you prick. Let me know if you have any questions. And feel free to contact me for anything during your day. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward to it. Just confirming the check-in time is 3 p.m., right? You'll be in the lockbox. The code is 5176. Brother, take a hint. Holy shit. Take a hint, dog. Why are you sending me the donger face? I really don't want to ride with you, Harp. What if I don't want to hug this guy, dude? Hey, Ray, I appreciate the lurk. Have fun on your D&D sesh. Your dicks and dudes sesh. Bitch, don't hug me. I only did that because I was forced. That's still hot. Why don't you 
hug me like you missed me. You look good. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Chivalry is fucking dead, guys. You don't just come awkward hug me. We've talked like three fucking times. And you trying to hug me? Fuck out of here. I'm driving though. Had to throw the bag in the back first. I'm pressing G. This is my bag. Nope. Guys, it appears that I am stuck. <laughs> I'm either uh, I'm uh, even further stuck. the bag in the elevator uh i don't know but i i believe i'm going to have to uh alt f4 the game <laughs> so there's a couple different things one saying that it's in the elevator oh my god it's in the elevator Alrighty. I don't know why I just wouldn't be on us, but. Alright then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Uh, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. Alright then, Harp. Hmm. I don't know. You're being a little sussy. A little bit of a sussy guy. 4.26 p.m. Oh, wow, the snow. It was starting to snow. Hopefully he dies. Dot, dot, dot. Or isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Uh, we couldn't, we couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Funny how that works. Change is just hard. I like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how they're going so far. How's your new job going? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Don, don, don. You know, I never understood. What do you consultants even do we consult and that sounds like important work it's because it is wow Harp, do you ever miss college not really right I guess the only good thing that came out of the college was us Um, you know. Hey, yo. What's that school bus doing? Did you see that school bus? See what? A school bus back there by the old house. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. I'm glad you specified on the internet. If you wrote it in like a magazine or a book, I wouldn't have believed you. But since you specified the internet, I will believe you. 
It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received. That's a whole ass elk. <laughs> that was close. You know, I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer crossing your path is like getting a message from the universe. We're on our way and should be there around 6. Snow slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you check in and travel safe. Maybe I will, Rick. Did you just hear about Taylor Baxter? I want to read the text messages. How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What do you mean? But the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights, it's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. You quoted the Lorax. Wow. I just want to read the text, man. Come on. It's kind of beautiful. It's been over a year since I saw your stupid face. Well, don't call my face stupid, and then maybe it wouldn't be a year. 5.14 p.m. <laughs> Mofo, that, uh, that, that checks out. <laughs> Mo's Pizza. Dairy Mart. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. Oh, okay. I'm, alright. Gotta get with the times. I'm bored in the past. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza by myself. Me too. Alright then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Alright. I can be mean to you then. If that's what you would prefer. What are you waiting for? Uh, you to fucking let me be. Alright. You need to fucking relax. Alright. You can go get your pizza on your own. I'll be in in a minute, okay? All of my messages are gone now because of this guy. Come on in, Harp. I can hate this guy. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. Pizza does sound pretty damn good. You fine, folks. Know what you want to eat. We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. Did you just say that I only wanted three pieces? And for you, miss. Margarita. Veggie. Cheese. Any drinks for you? I should cover us. Just a piece of it. What if I wanted a Coke, motherfucker? Or coffee? Six hot slices coming right up. I don't like this guy. He's not letting me speak for myself. We're paying. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza's ready. 
Is that fucking queso? You can beat me, but you can never beat the taste of UFO. Did you guys hear that? I think it was on the TV. With the best beef in conventional way. In what way? They were playing queso on the TV. Hey, what's up, Prez? How are you doing tonight? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Do you have any recommendations? Get the cheese. Just the cheese. True. If a, if a pizza place can't fuck on a cheese pizza, it's over. Dot, dot, dot. How's your day going? Who are you? I'm Sydney. Look, Sydney. <laughs> We're just here to enjoy our pizza in peace. Thanks for understanding. Hope you enjoy your meal. How's your day? <laughs> We're just distracting every. We're just bothering Bruh. everyone eating pizza. How's the pizza? Well, my dear, you absolutely can't go wrong with pepperoni here at Moe's. Everybody reminds you of a story. So what brings you to Moe's? I'm here on a road trip with my friend. You made a good choice stopping here. Do you come here often? Oh, my dear, I've been coming to Moe's since 85. This place is full of memories for me. Though, my daughter, bless her, she tries to keep me from eating too much pizza. Bad for my, bad for a man my age. She says she worries too much. Only have one of these heavenly slices about twice a, twice a month now. It was nice chatting with you. Safe travels for, to you and your friend. Thank you. No, we're gonna we're gonna bother every single person here. I'm one of those people at the restaurant. How you doing, my friend? I'm pretty hungry. Pizza does smell awfully good. I'm going to grab a slice. No, just looking for a little help. <laughs> good luck. Now oh, we're gonna be an asshole. <laughs> How's your day going? It's all much better now after this pizza. Thanks for asking. How about you? Not too bad. It's our first time in the area. Where are you headed? This guy is fucking munching this pizza though. In my left ear, I just hear him going fucking ham. We're on our way to a conference in the next town over with my buddy here. We just stop to eat whatever pla whatever whenever a place looks interesting. This place definitely has a cozy vibe. Best decision of the trip so far. How about you, local, or just passing through? Just passing through. Interesting. Um, I better get back to this pizza. Have a safe trip. Be care in the snow. Enjoy the pizza. He is fucking munching. Alright, I guess now that I'm forced to sit down with this guy. Long sniff. It smells so good in here. I'll long sniff too. Yo, this dude is going ham. We're on the road. Let us know. Oh. You guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The That's that Lily Pichu. One of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but i got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. She ain't even fucking left yet. 
the the outsourcing for voice acting in this is pretty dope. They've got a bunch of content creators in on it. I appreciate. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. Dot dot dot. Order number twenty-seven, you folks, right here. This guy's not even gonna go get our pizza for us. No, I'm getting it. Oh, oh, he's not gonna bring our pizza back. He's just gonna get his own. All right, you folks are all set. Thank you. Hey, what's up, Lizzie? Hi, Stevie. How was your nine hour drive? I know this motherfucker did not just say the phone is starting without Nora. Oh damn, this pizza slaps. Alright, what time are we in? No one said slaps in like the fucking early 2000s. I can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I know, right? Oh, we eat the crust. Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust. Who the fuck doesn't eat the crust? On some good ass pizza. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, if we're if we're talking like so, uh, all right, I'll never eat Pizza Hut, but uh, Pizza Butt, Domino's, like not eating that crust is fine, but some good ass crust. Come on now. Kind of wasteful not to. I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? I would actually. friends hello there i saw y'all pull in uh, driving uh, that nice old truck and that's right not to be a bother or anything but i was heading it down the road for myself seems like we might have been going the same direction you might if i hitch a ride with you where are you headed just heading where the road takes me i'm a bit of an adventure just hiking the trails and seeing the country so what do y'all say to, to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll even ride in the bed. It's my friend's car. I'm sorry. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something. I am. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening? <laughs> Mike, what the fuck are you gonna do? No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. Yeah, thanks. fucking guy we didn't even order anything we didn't even order anything I feel bad for the guy though after all these years you're still that same old harp Surely not every brand though. It's only like a certain, it's only one brand. It's 
some point you're in the 90s for no reason. Fuck that conference. <laughs> Pizza was perfect fuel for the last leg of our trip. Who we can burn. Uh, uh. What? Is that not like fucking ladylike or something to you? I'll do it again. Yeah, Mike can go eat a dick. was good. It did look pretty good and it sounded really good too. Alright then, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Are we close? Let me see. If my GPS is right, it should be about another hour. Give me the keys. Or the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? Take a break while I drive, Michael. <laughs> Hell yeah, fuck this guy. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one condition. I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. I guess. I mean, as long as you're far... As fuck away from me. Are you exhausted and desperately need a break? Is your nine to five stressing you out? Is your nine Take to five stressing you out? With rentacabin.com. We offer thousands of cabins readily available and accessible with the click of a button. Enjoy amazing views and undisturbed relaxation in our refurbished cabins. Now, not only are these cabins cheap, but they're also safe with each cabin having a designated caretaker to ensure that your stay on, is top-notch. We have many options I'm to watching from, it. the TV, motherfucker. Friendly, Don't push me. Family-sized, underground, and many more. So if you need a vacation and want they ban cheese because people are too dumb to cut the wax off. I mean, the wax on most cheese is edible, thankfully, but uh, yeah, people are fucking stupid. Uh, we're driving now because I want to drive Mike into a ditch. <laughs> Did Mike do something? Not specifically. Good evening, Vermont. This is Good evening, Vermont. WB, your hometown I know it is a big ass bell pepper. I may have to eat the other one. There's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next, Be Sincere by Ned and Altus. Stay warm and stay tuned. <laughs> Harp, are you doing it? Are you okay? Do you want me to take over? No. I was out of practice with driving. I was and I meant to do it. Also, this guy cut way too close. Just a sad boy drive, blasting fucking music. Bell peppers are delicious. Uh, no, I, I eat the crust. All the time. I actually like the crust. It's a little reward. like a reward. Hi, John. How are you doing tonight? Mm -hmm. 
Also, I like how it's just letting us kind of like step into my drive. room, leave with bloody lips, saying that she loved me but never really did. Maybe I should go walk over the mountains, find a new home away from where the town is. I could spend a year alone and never miss a soul. I could try my hardest and I'll never reach my goals. I know that I'm weak. Love inside my heart Didn't want to change But I think that I did it Even stuff good jalapenos time to fuck. Start. It's a good time to start Good time to start Fuck that stop sign I drove past our cabin at first Sunset dreams of the nights that I never knew Heart Where feels get out. warm when the trees only seem to bloom And I laughed Running all the way to you Miss this place But the town don't want me here Where's my lunch money? Where's my gym clothes? I will never know Where's a good girl Who doesn't wear a mask? Where's a best friend That's always got my back I need time from the hills and the monsters And I this should be it like I thought you were just gonna keep driving there well, see, I don't have uh, indicators telling me where shit is. I could spend a year alone in that. It's very cold tonight. I like how we're just parked in the center of the fucking road. Physics 2 test. Uh, good luck on that. Don't fail. Slide open. Uh, shit, what is it? Um, 5176. <laughs> I'm parked in the middle, but it's not my fault. <laughs> what a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right, but I really need to hit the john. Take your time. Can you put these groceries away? I got it. I'll do fucking anything and everything, because, you know... You're just a uh, bum. Best milk. The best milk is breast milk. I say that. I'm gonna close the mini fridge before picking it up. Alright, I don't know if I can move the truck. Hey, motherfucker, go around. What are you doing, Mike? Why are you out here? You said you were going to go take a shit. Stay away from me. Sorry about that, Harp. Are you okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Hang on, I really need to pee. You can go ahead, I'll start unpacking your bags. No. I wanna unpack my own bag. I'm taking it with me to the bathroom. I want this guy touching my shit. He's a creep. He's 
He just stole my fucking bag. No, I'm not sharing a room with you, motherfucker. The smell alone <laughs> told me pizza had really done a number on Mike. Welcome to Pissing Simulator. Hi, we've checked in. Yeah, our cats are fucking bougie. We could never. better than after the drive I'm good want to check out the house sounds good to me let's see what this place has to offer after you I want to see where you put all the shit look creepy yet Sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 we're not a couple. You didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. I was just answering the question. You didn't ask the questions. This fucking guy. You didn't ask the questions, Sydney. He made a statement, and you. Never mind. Oopsie Daisy, selling me. Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um. I was, on the, I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remember the TV has been on Fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again, since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me tell you, let me show you around my sweet home. Right now, I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Something's not sitting right. Host was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, the sink doesn't work. <laughs> Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Look, Harp, this room has a nice-ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. All me now, please. of someone's backyard holy smokes this is incredible incredibly cold glad you folks like it this is one of my favorite spots the view of the creek is beautiful it's a great spot for fishing too all right folks let's head back in before i catch old here again where is this creek at by the way that they're talking about Summer of 2025, then we're free on the, on the loans. 
Hey, RHA, have a wonderful night. Thank you for uh, chilling and hanging out. I hope you get some sleep. Right, we a cozy girl here. Cozy girl summer. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. Alright folks, let's head downstairs now. It was only 20 bucks for five guys and yes, they'd be nice. All right, folks, I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob, turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. And to keep it low in the winter, the bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. You know, he does at least know the house. So it's a little less sussy, but still very sussy. Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just a water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up, and you'll be back in business. What's going on down here? Are you coming, miss? No, I'm doing exploring. Because I don't feel safe. Hey, sir. What's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. So we do need to concern yourself. Kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need this space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. I can break this. Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fellow I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks. But if I were you, I wouldn't really step down here. <laughs> the looks on your face is ee hee 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 hee. Come on now, I'm just joking. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around 6 to 10. Or 6 out of 10, I mean. Alright folks, snow is starting to pick up. I'm going to hit the road now. Got to find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. You know the name on the booking. Why do I have to tell you my name? Sydney, that's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. Dot, dot, dot. Get the fuck out of here. Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna go take a quick shower. Oh, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. <laughs> Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. See you in a bit. He's 100% gonna come try to sneak on us in the shower. Sneak a peek. Yeah, you drive away. I know, right? Better lock that fucking door.
Uh, I want to shower first thing when I get somewhere. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Shower door was open. Wait, were we just going to like fucking... I don't need to use the towel. What do you mean the sh... Oh. We are completely clothed still. definitely don't think it's a normal thing but I, I I do it it's fun it's a fun nice little crunch Let's go down to Mike. Why are you carrying a fucking fishing pole around? I found this fishing rod in that shed. Dot, dot, dot. It's about time you see how good I am at fishing. I don't know. It's cold out there. I'm on harp. What would make this trip more epic than catching your own freaking dinner? Freaking. Not fucking freaking. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed so we can both give it a shot. I like bell pepper, so I eat bell pepper. <laughs> I have not icy, but uh, that sounds honestly phenomenal. I kind of want to do that now. Not going to lie to you. Do you want to grab the other fishing rod harp? Yeah, just give me a second. I'm looking around. Frozen pawn, prawns. Rank bait. Sweet corn. Cheese delight. <laughs> Let's go fishing with some cheese. Oh snap, I saw it kill the recipe for baked carp. I need to catch three carp, though. You up for the challenge? Sure. Well, first things first. I need the right bait for carp. What's up, uh, oh, Manito? Is that is that right? What is Dick? Dick is Dick. Yeah, Dick is Richard. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp harp. <laughs> carp harp. I fucking hate it here. All right, carp, 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 carp. Sweet corn. Sweet corn or cheese? You hated that camera angle. Me too, dog. Whenever you're ready, grab the cart bait and let's head to the creek. Sure, 
from what you said. Uh, I would appreciate if we were able to keep it to English. For my uh, lack of American knowledge. you know if I need help. Right now I think I'm doing good though. I think uh, the hardest part is the controls are uh, not working at times. But I appreciate that. Oh, I guess I can't use the cheese. Sweet corn. Common carp. Cheese delight. Common carp. Something ain't adding up here. It wanted me to use the corn, not the cheese. I'm a little upset. getaway yet uh, but Mike is definitely trying to but he's really fucking creepy so I'm not gonna let him easy we're gonna keep every fish we catch we're gonna eat it all some bait or lure. What a nice relaxing day of fishing. Decided to use brave, not for the usual reason. What are the usual reasons to use brave? <laughs> not another bluegill, man. I thought this motherfucker was gonna help us too. I should have known. Can't trust a man to do nothing. If you teach a man to fish, he won't ever do it. Oh, 
your three fucking fish. You throw it at him. Don't you know that kind of hurts good? I hope those carp are biting today. So what if I already told you I had all three? Alright, Harp. Looks like you got we got three carp. Do you wanna head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. Yeah, fuck edge. Fuck edging. Edging is no longer cool. We like being brave. I don't need that shit. Actually, I do. I need this weapon. It's this fucking guy. Steam just randomly pop up. We've updated our Steam subscriber agreement. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure, why not? Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. Yeah, I got you. I I did read it. I will uh I will let you know if I do need help. At the current moment though, I think I'm good. Been that right by us. Hey, this isn't our house. We can run up this bill all we want. Salt, black pepper, paprika. Italian seasoning. Ginger garlic paste. Uh, yogurt. Where is the olive oil? No, I don't need lettuce. This should be right out. Well, I'm looking for... Oh, there it is. Extra virgin. Not anymore. <laughs> Do you mind throwing the fish in the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggie veggies on it? I spilled my marinade. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, most people uh, say it's some kind of villain, which I'm down. I'm down for both. I'm down for being the hero and the villain. Now, could you add the veggies? Why don't you add the veggies, motherfucker? I read it needs to go in for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay. You said veggies, and you cut up Lemons and tomatoes. Both fruits. Uh, I'm Batman. You have failed this city. <laughs> you know, that is actually pretty decent. carp are going to taste amazing. Oh, 
while we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. Yes, we could. Just grab whatever catches your eye and wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the living room. Oliver Vac Queen. Hey, what's up, Chaka? How you doing tonight? You know, he said veggies and there's like fucking lettuce here. But no. A tomato and a lemon. Alright, let's see what kind of games we got. You got games on your phone. Chess. We've got a selection. Chess. Whispers. What is whispers in the dark? Power stack. Mega rounds. A Waluigi board. Dragon's Labyrinth. Snakes and Ladders. Catopoly. Star Titan Force. The Waluigi. What if I want to play him in chess? I have used one. Uh, we do not own one. I... I don't think Liz likes them, if I remember right. Jenga. I would own one, though. Oh, snap. Is that a Waluigi board? Holly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey. Remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? That's a great idea. Alright, let's go. Yeah, no. Uh, So, real quick, I will say I was going to pick it anyway. But, uh, this is my, my playthrough. And if I did not want to pick it, I would not have picked it. Yeah, no, I'm I'm super into like the paranormal shit. I'm skeptical, but I do I do enjoy it. Watch out for the spiders down here. <laughs> you you yoink that fucking table. That'd be a dope table. No, we'll make this even spookier. What now? Let's turn off all these lights and see if the thing really works. <laughs> off the lights go. Waluigi board. Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? I do. Alright then, you go first. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? This is a great spot for a board game. I don't know what you're talking about right now. Yes. No way. Are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. How 
How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful, you fuck. Kill him. He's 100% moving it. Uh, did you live in this house? Whispers, my turn. I have, um, I have used one of these a couple times. I used one in a, uh, haunted abandoned schoolhouse that I, uh, that I, uh, like, I don't even remember how old I was. I think I was like 15. No, I was 16 because I could drive. If you use a tarot card on an Ouija board, does it get extra spooky? I think so. But maybe. Come on, buddy. <laughs> like how he says, buddy, give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Holy crap. I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts or spirits. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel uneasy that night. You're planning on moving it. Yeah, the people I was with when I did it, I don't trust that they weren't. That they didn't actually move it. It did move. But. It was like. Like I said we were all like 16, 17. So it was like. But I'm not going to lie. I would be curious to do it sometime with like Liz. Because I know. Since knowing Liz. She's opened my mind to so much fucking. Wild shit. That I've experienced like getting into tarot and then like pentacle shit that's worked while I'm doing it I'm like what the fuck is happening you got me fucked up I know you wouldn't fuck with it though there's some freaky shit going on down there harp that was weird the weird part is that you ditched me. <laughs> you mean weird how you left me? What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass too. We didn't close the fucking gate. We didn't close it. We didn't say goodbye. Would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Whatever, I'm sorry, okay. Whatever. Dinner's ready. Pussy. I mean, did I say that out loud? I think our show is about to come on. You wanna watch TV while we eat? Sure. to grab a plate this guy didn't even give us a fucking plate he thinks we're dating and he won't even do shit for me out of the kindness of his heart he must not like me very much he must just want to fuck me let's sit over here well let me sit over there I'm waiting to catch that show on TV while we ate. No, um, are you going to turn it on? Or do I have to do that too? Bones. Bones. After letting these simmer in the salt bath, the show is on. Start making the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Ah, uh, yes, the cocoa beans need 
to be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor. And that fancy flavor. He is taking notes. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. The we mayonnaise. We fry this in a pan with Irish tofu. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna taste like shit. <laughs> but here you are anyway, listening to my cooking instructions. This is, this the is gonna taste like mayonnaise. shit. We, we gotta inject it with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us it gets very angry once it knows we're trying to cook it after doing that we mix all the ingredients yeah, we were watching together adult in a swim tray right now. and place it inside the oven okay and while that's cooking we can start on the appetizer hold on this guy just gasoline soaked this ramen fucker. Now this dish is extremely gasoline soaked ramen. A dish only for experienced cooks. It requires a lot of patience and skill. What you will need is gasoline. Gasoline. And ramen. And ramen. This dish really soothes the soul. Almost like a cayenne cleanse. We begin by pouring the gasoline into this pot. Make sure not to use whole gasoline since it's really bad for you. Maybe use 2% or half and half. Do not use half and diesel. Half gasoline. Do not use. Oh, someone should so call Bruce and do not use diesel. Come to a boil. We can put in our ramen. I'm using some stuff I found in my grandmama's basement. But you can use whatever kind you like. This ramen will taste fantastic. Once the gasoline fully soaks into the noodles, it's actually kind of scientific. Bill Nye who? The gasoline Nye molecules who. merge with the noodle molecules and they taste very good. Now that this is cooking, we can check on our cake. Um, uh, if your oven <clears throat> catches on fire, uh, make sure to put it out with the fire extinguisher. Oh, what else damn. are we put it out with? Uh, uh, damn, that's burnt. Uh, I, I, I'm not eating this. But, but, but not to worry. I know someone who will. Yo, Grandma! <laughs> Yo, Yo, Grandma. I made you fool. No, 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 it's not, it's not poison. It's not poison. Look. Uh, bye, Grandma. Stay in your room. I don't want you wandering around the house again. Get back in there! I hope that was some damn fine hey, food. Twice as good since we got the fish ourselves. It was alright. Anyway, you don't have to rain on my parade heart. It was no Moe's pizza, but I thought it turned out well. Which is ready to serve. I hope y'all enjoy hey, anyways. as much as I will. Let me check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. We are back. Alright, I'll clean up here. Since you made me do everything. Yes, have good shower, Shaco. Also, uh, yes, stay safe, my dude. That is uh nothing to nothing to joke around with. I hope it uh I haven't looked super into uh the strength of it or anything, but Had to get the plate. That's fucking weird. Dishwashing. Mark wasn't here for coffee break. In the last report, I mentioned spending more time together. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? No. Nope. No, we're not going to penalize you for that. Good luck. Who's following me? Yo, uh, is it a a manito? 
I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you for the follow up from the cult. A monito? Maybe. That, that's probably more. I apologize for butchering. Alright, I guess. How oh, many toe? Alright, I got it. Easy. Thank you, Dusk. Are you exhausted and desperate to see the world? Don't make sounds, walk slow. It's kinda hard to not make sounds when um closed all the doors. What room did you go to? gonna be him <laughs> gotcha look at him break your motherfucking nose my good looks are half my charm harp don't mess them up I totally got you that was fun wasn't it whatever come on it was just a joke you want to go for the next round dot 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 how about a game of hide and seek I'll get back to you for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. All right, you're on. I'll count to ten. Was it pretty intense here? Gonna be a mess tomorrow. Oh wait. Yeah, anyone that's uh, gonna be in the um, path of the hurricane, definitely stay safe tomorrow. And whenever it is, it is destined to hit. Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully it veers. Hope we're gonna hide in the Harry Potter closet. Gonna be quiet. challenge i figured you would be good at this since i never find you in the city dot 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 all right my turn to hide now better close your eyes and start counting wish you were home you want to scream so bad <laughs> it cost me Whoa, whoa, whoa. Or do you want to scream for something else? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. All right, now we gotta find this fucker. Telepathy scream. <laughs> Music's a fucking a banger.
Yeah, yo, uh, no spoilers, please. Need a break? Is your nine to five stressing you out? Take a vacation with rentacabin.com. We offer thousands of cabins readily. I'm in no rush to complete this. Enjoy amazing views and undisturbed relaxation in our refurbished cabins. Now, not only are these cabins cheap, but they are also safe, with each cabin having a designated caretaker to ensure that your stay is top notch. We have many options to choose from, including pet friendly. Why, hello there. Got you. Hang on, Harper. I think I heard something upstairs. You're gonna try this again? No kidding. No kidding, Sydney. Wait, what? No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it. <laughs> this fucking guy. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. Exactly. You leave the TV on. And true, the TV adds realism. I always gotta have background noise. Are you going to check it out? You're taller than me. Why don't you go? <sighs> I guess. I guess I gotta go. Use that step stool behind you and climb up. What are you doing, step stool? camping out up here there's a little kit oh my god game of the year Meow. I found his cat what is there a light Yeah, exactly what uh, exactly what Liz said. <laughs> if you tell me to do something, I will do the opposite. We have a little kit. Sydney, are you okay? What was that up there? It was just a cat. <laughs> Looks like you aren't the only pussy in this house. Give fuck. What do you mean by that? You're a pussy is what I mean. Pussy. Cat. <laughs> Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Bruh. Decided to hide in the tool shed in the back. <laughs> Don't drink water and don't play Valorant. You guys got it. Never drinking water again. Someone else in that ho in the house. Are you gonna witness a murder? Aha, there you are. You still can't see me. 
Damn, Harp, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty... No. Yeah, I think someone went in the house. Mike was hiding. I want to close my eyes, dude. I want to play hide and seek. This is cringe. Or do you not? Here I come. Up. The fuck the fish. I'm gonna go feed the cat though, actually. If I was this idiot, where would I go? I'm taking Jenga. I want to feed the cat. Eat the cat. E e eat the cat. Fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. This is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. Ah, uh, you fucking what, mate? I've never seen anyone fix a, fa a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fix mini faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. You heard anything before that? It must have been that old lady, remember? <laughs> yeah, don't you think you could fix this tomorrow? You asked me to leave, miss. I am. No, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I, we don't really want to call law enforcement. Dot, dot, dot. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think you're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. Can't handle that. It's your problem, not mine. You know what? Folks don't like me fixing the faucet. I'll leave it to it. Hey, what's up, BZ? Um, I have all except for this one. And so far, I will say Ironbark is still my favorite. This this one is pretty strong though, so far. I fucking hate Mike though. I hate Mike so fucking much. But how are you doing tonight? Have you played all of them? Oh dude, they're so good. I would recommend you playing all of them. All right, I still got my Jenga, though. Need to take this fucker out. I'm about to take him out to the shed. Bye. Yo, hold on, though. Are we going to feed the cat, or...
Or did he just forget about the kitty? After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. He just like me. <laughs> Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. Were we awoken? Oh, now we were. Also, where is, uh... Where's our friend Nora at? He's like no longer anywhere to be found. Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking at the door. You mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. I guess. The storm is starting to get really bad. I heard they see the truck in the driveway. I hate that Nora's out there all alone. She'll be fine. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. What? Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? <laughs> what a day, huh? This isn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. He rented the damn house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. You've also been a little difficult to deal with. You're right, Sydney. I'm really sorry. It'll help if we both get some sleep. Yeah, go the fuck to... Ugh. Go away. Why don't you come and sit by me, Sydney? I'll pass. I'm gonna go home. Leaving me already, Sydney. I sure am. I think I'll take my chances. It was freezing cold outside. There's an invisible barrier. Yeah, I'll sleep on the couch, dude. Extreme sports. I really don't want to go talk to him. I got like a fucking knife. I need a plate. I'll fucking can break it and turn it into a shank. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? I'm gonna pass. <laughs> SOS. Fucking guy. I didn't need to shower. I fucking feel like I do. Do we really have to sit by him? Leaving me already, Sydney. I am. <sighs> dot, dot, dot. Harp, you know. I've missed this. Us. Just talking. It's been too long. You know. You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. 
would you be doing this if Nora was here? Yeah, call him the fuck out. Bro, why'd you do that with your leg? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Like, I don't think that's a good time. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire miles. just blew out. Bruh. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Bruh. Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? 70 miles. Holy shit. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settled. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. That's not fucking nice. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we're, uh, we're pretty uh, set in stone. That I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you. I'm a little stupid ass bitch. I ain't fucking with you. I couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. You just left it wide fucking open. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Yeah, I think I'll crash for a bit. Oh, look, make sure you take care of yourself or I lock all the doors. Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. I should go sleep now. <laughs> Three dreams, get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. Yeah, dude, I fucking saw the um one of the reviews for this game was the <laughs> the only fear to fathom in this game was Mike. <laughs> I'm gonna have to agree. Just keep on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 11 or 12.39 a.m. Oh, what the fuck is going on now? Someone was at the front door. I could just like not. The realization that someone was outside this late and night was horrific. Oh, oh, dot, dot, dot. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. No, I'll pass. Not my problem. Where's the cat at? Yeah, 
you. You're coming to my house. At 12.39 at night. I'm doing this shit. I think I'll pass. spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. The weather outside is getting pretty bad, and I, well, was hoping you'd be a friend and let me come inside to warm up just until my friends get here. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Come on now, my friend. If you were hot out in this blizzard, I'd give you a warm place to wait. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here. And I'm making you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be as big a bitch as you were back at the pizza joint. You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe it, you'd give me a chance this time, but it looks like you're still unkind. Get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fellow's truck out there either. Dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. What a fucking creep. Where is the phone at? Actually, I have a phone right here. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. I don't know if this is really karma, though. I wouldn't... You wouldn't let anyone in your house at fucking midnight. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. We're going back to sleep after that happens. Are you fucking kidding me? Ow. I'd be posted with a fucking Glock. In the corner of my room. <laughs> like the fuck. I would no longer be tired. Did you get eaten by bears? I hope so. At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over there? Someone we met driving down there. He was banging at the door and he started threatening me. I'm pretty scared. And I think I hear him moving outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? God, Mike. Fucking... Take the hint. Help. 
SOS. There's a way to look through the window without opening that one. Or look at the front. It's me. Despite how strange Rick had been, seeing him standing. What the hell is going on here? Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. Could have been anyone or no one at all. Yeah, it came as quick as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. It does have a hammer. Did he just fucking bash that motherfucker's skull in? By the way, where's your friend, the guy who was with you? He should be back soon. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now? No. Uh, Rick, you can leave now. Rick, it's, uh, it's okay to leave now. You've helped enough. Storm like it's like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Come back over, what do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. I fucking knew it. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting in it. Who are you talking to? My friends are almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. Sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around and make sure everything's really okay. You need to leave right now. What did you just say? This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. Get out of here before I call the cops. I don't think so. If anyone's leaving this house, it'll be one of us. What?
shit, Nora. Man. Knocked over the fucking chair, so I put it on straight. I'm pissed, dude. And I just type help. So where's the cat at? Open the door, Harp. Open the door, Harp. I'm not trying to go back down, you know, because then I'll just die. I would imagine, right? Unless we have to go down and unlock. after Michael had left. It called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived, and of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man 
We saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used. And planned on robbing us during our stay. Pop seemed to think there was more intent behind the man's actions aside from just robbing us. Yeah, I would fucking say. Rick asked me what the man looked like, and after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on, but in the end, he gave us a full refund. Wow, thank you for a refund, a life of trauma, and you give us for $200 back. 